stop global warming. Make peace. Yeah. Find cures. And save people's lives. I love helping people. I'll help my neighbors. Plan stuff in my community. I'll help the needy. Be a good influence into their life. I kind of want to change the world by helping autistic kids with music therapy. Find cures for diseases like leukemia and pancreatic cancer. People are using technology in the information age to really get their message out and spread their ideas. And so through that, I feel like it can really engender like change and like bring about change. Uh, by helping kids who can't afford certain things like food or clothes. But I want there to be equality for everyone. I've always believed in respecting the dignity of every human life. I can help mentally ill teenagers because I feel like that's a widespread problem all throughout America and other countries. I would like want to help students in the adolescence because this is such an important year in their life or just an important stage in their life and they're most influential and it's imperative that we start help working with them now because they are future. A website to raise money for animal shelters or other charities like that. I'm going to try making better flying cars um, and to use them with a renewable um, resource for, um, with, for, for um, the energy that I use instead of using gas and making pollution. And if someone like loses a limb in some war or something, you can get replaced with a bionic one that works just as well. And I want to uh, teach kids how to dance also, so I want to make my own studio. And I want it to be for free, you know, because not everybody has the opportunity to do all that stuff. No. I was hoping to go to countries that are in poverty and help them. If they don't know how to do the monkey bars, I could pick them up and help them. I've seen how hard it is for for the hard to employ to find jobs and how hard it can be for refugees to find jobs. Librarians can change the world by educating people on the power of words and what, how, why it's important to be reading. Because reading helps people think for themselves and it helps them to have good imaginations and come up with ideas that, and get educated on important issues. I want to do it through music and sort of just like making people think. I think that we should have the highest level of teachers at the lowest grade levels to be, to be able to just produce the highest level of scholar from the very beginning. That way we have a student who they can focus on their learning experience all the way through and not worry about all the other uh, adversities that will hit them. They can take everything in stride, they'll be more knowledgeable and they'll know how to study and how to become a better scholar throughout their entire educational process. You know, I've seen the impact nurses can make and I want to have a similar impact on patients and families and help them heal. And then I think that, you know, if those people feel the impact that I can make on their lives, they'll be inclined to help other people as well. I want to be an author, doctor, neuropathologist, orthopedic surgeon, bioengineer, psychologist, play baseball, actuary, computer software engineer, Curator, an FBI agent, scientist, English teacher, veterinarian. I'd like to start an American clothing brand. I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to start a business and attend Harvard or Princeton University. I want to be a president. We are already changing the world. I'm in one leg at a time, and that's an anti bullying campaign that, um, it's, that we started in our schools in Worthington. And what we do is we try to spread our word so our schools and our society can be a better place for other people. We're already changing the world. I'm working towards it personally uh, by learning more about everything that has to do with that, like robotics and bionics and the human body. We are already changing the world. That you kind of see like a bigger perspective and you can see like the world for what it is. We are already changing the world. We are making Valentine's Day cards for people in homes to help them be less lonely during Valentine's Day because some of them don't have any people that visit them. That's why we do food drive to give to get the food to the people who need it more than us. I know that even though these people don't know me, they there will be like a sense of happiness in their lives. We started a Society of Women Engineers here and um, that's something I'd like to continue on into college and then into the professional world. Um, mentoring girls in STEM. We're already changing the world. To be able to just have this great life experience first before we enter the real world and to be as prepared as possible. Get a club for people to like pick up trash. I'm doing a program with my school called Project iPad. Elderly people come and you help them and teach them to 
basically maneuver these iPads that my generation and generations to come will know how to do. We are already changing the world. I learned all about um, bioprinting um, and the printing of actual organs as a way to reduce the number of people on the organ transplant list. So. Um, I'm really interested in that. Helping people, and like it's exciting to see like someone's life change, and like if I could like I don't know have an impact in that in some way. If somebody like couldn't pick up their room, I would help them. We are already changing the world. They encourage like travel and learning about different cultures. So I think right now I'm doing the learning part of understanding, but then I want to like go out and spread the understanding and help other people. I think it's important for kids to change the world because we're going to get to live with the effects of it longer. Like, if we just let adults change the world, like, they're going to get to live with the effects for it, but we're going to have to live with that longer. So I think we should try to change the world now.